I don't flee cause I believe I'll stay down to the ground Stay down to the ground Stay down to the ground 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 What's up Guardians, it's your boy Doodle from Doodles of Destiny and today I want to share a way you can easily farm spoils of conquest and get some sweet raid weapons and gear. But before I get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to receive Destiny 2 news, tricks and tips, and all sorts of Destiny 2 content. Now in today's video I'll be covering how you can get 3 raid chests from the Vault of Glass each week on all 3 characters without investing too much time. When you start this raid, you will be in the Waking Ruins on the Ishtar Sinks, with the objective to raise the Spire. In order to raise this Spire, you will have to defend three Sink Plates from Vex enemies at the same time. While you are defending these plates, Vex Cyclopses will appear along with Void Shielded Minotaurs and other Vex enemies. Once you have defended the Sink Plates and built your Spire, it will activate and open the Vault of Glass. Your first chest will be on the left as you enter with your first 5 spoils. The second chest is kind of a freebie, so if you've made it this far, you deserve it. Follow the path you see in the background gameplay, and you will see your second raid chest with another 5 spoils and some raid loot. The third chest will be in the Templar's Well Encounter, in which you will be defending all three Confluxes from Vex enemies. A key to this encounter is to not step in the goop that spawns upon killing Vex enemies. Standing in it will give you the debuff marked for negation. To cleanse yourself of this debuff, which will inevitably kill you, run to the center of the map where there's a giant Vex plate and stand in the middle of it. This will cleanse you and allow you to go back to defending the Confluxes from Vex Overload Minotaurs and Sacrificial Waverins. Once you've defended the Confluxes long enough, the encounter will end and you will see your third raid chest. Doing this on all three characters should give you roughly 60 spoils a week and the chance at some sweet raid weapons and gear. Anyways Guardians, that's all the time I have to focus on this video. If you find this setup useful or know of any that would make farming this easier, hit the like button and leave a comment down below. And as always, this is Doodle from Doodles of Destiny. Cause I